Hello and welcome to the Image Time module. The Image Time module allows you to add content onto your site in the form of a tile. Today I'm going to show you how to set up that tile. I've already went ahead and installed the module and placed it onto my page. Now all I have to do is go to the edit icon over here. Page is loaded. I can see that there's a lot of places where I have to add content into. I'm going to go over each one right now. First I'm going to define the tile size. This is done in pixels. You can see that I've already went ahead and made 200 pixels by 200 pixels. Don't forget to add the pixels at the end. Next we're going to add a title to the tile. We're going to go with something obvious. Now. I want to define where on the tile I want to place this title. Zero, 00 means it's on the top left corner. And everything's done in pixels. So I'm going to bring it down across 50 pixels. Or rather 10 pixels actually. And bring it down. There's your pixel. I can define the color of this title. It can be done in hex, RGBA, or if it's a simple color like white, green, blue, or red, I can do it as text. I'm going to go ahead with hex. Now I can set an animation to this title, and this triggers whenever I mouse over it. Right now let's do a fade out, so whenever I mouse over the tile, it fades out. I have a list here with a bunch of other things. I can slide it, or I can even change color. If I change color, I have to define the color again. It's either in hex, uh, simple colors can be text, or RGBA. For now, let's do a fade out. The content is what's going to present itself once I mouse over that tile. It could be anything, including text, and even links to your site. Let's go with something obvious here. I can style it using these controls here. I can style it using it HTML, or I can even go and style it in my skin file. Now to make the text visible, I can give it a background color. This also sets it apart from the title and the image, which I'll get back to in a second. Let's go with an RGBA on this one. The next step is defining how you're going to animate this tile once I move my mouse over it. Using the drop down, I can either fade in the tile, slide it left, right, up or down, or leave as is. I'm going to fade it in. Or actually I'm going to slide it from the left. The background image is the image presented when the tile is inactive. I can choose any image by just hitting the choose file right here. Currently I can go with this GIF here or any other ones by selecting it. If I don't want this image I can simply remove it or if I want to replace it I can just choose another file. Once I've chosen the file, I just have to hit upload. I'm given a preview of the image down below. 
If I want to, I can even add a filter to the image. A good example of why I'd use a background color is if my image was a PNG with transparency. Then I can use any color I want behind it. Again, in hex, text or RGBA. Let's go with text this time. I can save and then go back and see if I need to change anything. Or I can save and close and go preview it. As you can see, there's some styling on my title. That's because in the skin file, I already have a defined H1. I can style it any way I want in my skin file. Or I can override it using the rich text editor. We have now set up the image tile. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.